Hello and welcome to a discussion on Notes Payable. Watching this video will help prepare you for class. It is important that you view this before class so we can learn more together in class. This video will walk you through how to account for Notes Payable. After viewing this video, you will be able to locate accounts related to Notes Payable on the financial statements. You will be able to compute a payment amount and prepare an amortization schedule. You will also be able to record journal entries related to notes payable. Take a moment and look at the balance sheet of JCPenney and notice the line items related to notes payable. Notes payable is a liability owed to creditors. It is reported as long-term debt and is current portion of long-term debt or notes payable. Interest payable is reported separate from principal and is included in accrued expense. The borrower incurs interest expense on a note payable. Take a moment and look at the income statement of JCPenney and determine which line item includes interest expense. The interest expense is reported below operating expenses. JCPenney includes interest in net interest expense. Net means the interest expense is netted against interest income. The cash flow statement reports cash transactions related to debt in the financing activities section. Take a moment and locate the line items that are related to long-term debt and notes payable. Most companies use the words long-term debt and notes payable interchangeably. There are three transactions related to notes payable. First, funds are borrowed. Cash is received and a liability is recorded. Second, a payment is made that repays a portion of the principal owed and the interest incurred during the period. Interest is often accrued for at the end of a period with a payment made at a later date. Interest is accrued for the time passed at the end of the period. The interest for the prior period and the current period is paid when the payment is made. This is common when month-end financial statements are prepared and the payment is made quarterly. A note generally requires periodic payments that covers both principal and interest. This payment is equal to the amount borrowed divided by the present value factor for the number of periodic payments and the interest rate for each payment. Present value tables are provided in your course pack at the end of the bond section. Let's look at an example. The company borrowed $60,000 at 6% annual interest rate. The annual payment that pays the principal of $60,000 and the interest is $17,317 for four years. An amortization table has four columns across the top. The payment, the interest, the difference between the two that repays the principal borrowed and the amount owed at the end of the year. The amount borrowed starts at the top of the carrying value amount owed column. The annual payment is a fixed amount for each year. The interest portion of the payment is computed as the amount owed before the payment is made times the interest rate of 6% or $3,600 for the first year. The difference between the payment and the interest reduces the principal. This is the $17,317 payment minus the $3,600 interest. This difference reduces the amount owed at the end of the year. This process is repeated for year two. Only this time, the amount owed is smaller, so the 46283 is multiplied by 6% to get the interest expense for year 2 of 2777 As payments are made, the amount owed reduces and the interest expense is reduced also. By the end of the note, the payment will have covered the principal owed of 60000 and all the interest, leaving a balance of zero. You will use the amortization schedule to make journal entries. The amount borrowed begins the amortization schedule. This is recorded as a liability to notes payable.
interest expense is recorded from the interest column. The debit, <coughs> excuse me, a reduction to notes payable is taken from the difference column. A credit to cash is made for the payment amount. The debits and credits are the same for the second payment, the third, fourth also, and the amounts change to the amounts on the different years on the amortization schedule. Take a moment to match the journal entry numbers to the amortization schedule. This concludes our discussion of accounting for notes payable. Please fill in the blanks on the note pages payable in your course pack and work through the practices you learn problems related to notes payable. Thank you for taking the time to be prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.